Okay guys, finally the day, the moment we are well waiting for has finally arrived. Yes! Hell yeah! Hey, come on, baby! Come on! Yes! Come on! Ah! <laughs> the new so showroom is here and today I will be talking about and giving my honest opinion in what it seems like the best feature Gameloft has ever introduced into Asphalt 9 Legends since Season Tokens. Oh. <laughs> wait, wait. Let's let's let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. All right. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. <laughs> Okay, now seriously, I have a few reasons to believe that this is one of the best features ever introduced into Asphalt 9 Legends and today I will make a small guide where I will give you my first impressions as well. With nothing else to add, let's get into it. Alright, so I recorded this at the very first moment I realized that the showroom was finally out in the game because as it turns out there was a minor delay, don't mind my name by the way, so at the end the showroom appeared for everyone half an hour later than expected. Anyways, once you move to the showroom tab you can see all the events you can pick, from the lowest rank car, in this case the Infinity Black S, till the highest rank you can aim for in this showroom event, which is in this case the Lamborghini Sian. I will start making things clear from the very beginning. If you start doing the Infinity event until you max it, and then you move to the next car and so on, you will be able to eventually go the Lamborghini Sian, which being honest is quite n is such a nice car overall and for classic and the clash depending on, on the streets of course so i will definitely go for it but something really important you need to do is to keep the order as i told you make sure to max the lower car and then slowly go up because if you go straight for the cyan showroom event right now without owning any of the lower cars you won't be able to change to a different event until until the current cyan event you picked end in one week or so, and since you won't be able to move through the Xi'an showroom event unless you have the lower showroom events cards, I would recommend you once again to focus on the order I told you, start from the very beginning. Something you may have realized is that there are two kinds of Volkswagen W12 uh, showroom events, and this is be uh, because it's since it's a K car, you will need to focus first on unlocking the car and then, and only then, I will recommend you to focus on the showroom event specifically designed to max out the uh, Volkswagen W12. Otherwise, you may end at a similar situation as I depicted with the Cyan uh, showroom event because you will be on an event where without the car required, you will have nothing to do. If we move to how the events inside are, as you might have seen recently, there are several stages where you have like mini car hunts, you have to play a determined amount of races with each one of the cars, as it's in my case with the Monza showroom event, with the Pinifarina H2 and the Infinity, and once you complete all the conditions from that stage, you can move to the next one, and once you have complete all the stage, you can claim the final rewards and basically select another showroom event uh, belonging to a different car and that stuff. Since I don't have the Desire nor the Monza SP1 Golden and the Epic import parts are at the very end of the condition goals, I will have to do both of their showroom events in order to max them out. And I already got some information that makes me think that some cars will eventually be added to the showroom, so who knows, maybe Gameloft adds the Praga R1, which was a Drive Syndicate exclusive car to the showroom as well in the future, pretty much like the Desire or the BMW E8. Okay, so as a whole, the showroom is Gameloft's biggest dab until now when it comes to Asphalt 9 features, and I genuinely think that focus correctly will not only help newcomers to get new cars and stay a bit more up to date, but will help the game to be a bit more friendly toward new users in the long term. The only offers related to the showroom, for example, are a special packs in the shop that can be purchased only by blue tokens and which contain a fairly decent amount of blueprints of the showroom featured car of your choice. So the value, in my honest opinion, is quite good since you don't even have to spend real money at all. The only flaw I see in this uh, wall showroom feature, and it's not even such a big issue in my opinion, is the fact that in order to do a race in showroom, you need showroom tickets, which are basically like time limited event tickets, and you can actually get them for free watching ads or waiting until they refill, but which I would like to refill as I can refill, you know, the normal time limited event tickets with the event pass daily refills. 
Anyways, the truth is that the showroom has just been released, so it's likely that in the future Gameloft will add some kind of showroom tickets refilled to the Time Limited Events Pass, or maybe even the Legends Pass. So I'm quite happy because, you know, the, uh, the Deus Special Event aside, which by the way I have plans to complete... I'm not crazy, okay? I know what I did. Because I like it! Hell, I love it! I'm sitting here, I'm, I'm just itching. I'm, 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 I'm itching to do it again. The update as a whole has been quite positive, especially for the newcomers and those that for one reason or another got no chance to max out the current showroom cards. Many people will say it's too grindy, but uh, you know guys, let's remember that the progress you make gets saved, so you can actually keep progressing in the future. One way or another, now it's your turn guys. What do you think about the showroom this far? What would you improve from the very first version? Let me know in the comment section, make sure to subscribe and I will see you really soon as usual with much more asphalt content. Goodbye guys.